Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I'm um, going to go over swapping out a blower motor today. Alright, so it's out here a few weeks ago. This is a relatively new unit. Um, the blower motor was throwing some sparks off the windings and smoking. So I got a direct OEM replacement from Linux. And uh, I left the air handler in this condition because it's not, uh, it couldn't be used. So first we're going to take this screw out here. And then there's another one down here just like it. And this should slide right out. So this is uh, what I call a forearm. I carry a uh, aftermarket motor mount kit with three arms and four arms. If you ever run across one, sometimes the arms are part of the motor. So you'll take that out. That's not something that most people typically carry on their truck, or at least we don't. So you have to have uh, a way to put a bracket on a motor like this to replace those motors that have the arms uh, tacked welded on or screwed on or whatever so now we're going to take these actually we're going to loosen up the set screw first Okay, no need to take that all the way out. And then if this shaft had a lot of rust and corrosion on it, you'd take a piece of emery cloth, or that's what we do. Take a bunch of, or a piece of emery cloth, clean the shaft up really good and put something like PB Blaster, Aero Croil, any kind of penetrating lubricant. And then this should slide off. And if it doesn't, you may have to use a wheel puller. Uh, haven't run across one where I need to do that yet to do a video on it. But now that's loose. This blade will slide back and forth on there. We're going to take this, uh, these 7 16 inch. Oh, smaller than that. 3 8 inch. Yep. And actually, I bought a new driver. Malco dropped these not too long ago that have a 3 8 and a 5 16 in. We'll make sure you keep these washers together or don't lose them in the attic installation. setting those on top of the air handler now that pulled right out of there I wish they were all that easy take this ground wire off it's a quarter inch screw I'll set that screw up here on the air handler as well all right disconnect our capacitor wires set this to the side all right now you want to make note of where this mount is on the motor and make sure you put it on the new one in the same place this 
snip this uh, zip tie. Let these wires loose. And to save time, you want to try and orient everything in the same way. You know? It's not completely necessary to do that, but it may save you some time. Nope, that's a 3 8 as well. Okay, well, I'll make this even easier. I'm going to hold the nut with the wrench. And most of the time, you don't have to take it all the way out. And this came out of this grommet here. We'll make sure you keep all that together these arms out okay well, let's go back in on the new motor Tighten it up a little bit. So these arms have this little notch in them. You want to get that notch in here as you tighten it down. Sometimes they don't have those, so there's usually a groove that the arms need to go in on the, this band. Okay. Keep checking, making sure they're where they need to be. Alright, so they're good and tight. Let's back over. Also, this motor uses the same exact capacitor as the old one. It's an OEM replacement, so we're going to check the capacitor as well. And then these shafts usually have one or two flat sides like this. That's the side that the set screw needs to be tightened into. So. screw cross-threaded All right I'll set my foot pounds Done with 
this. Put my quarter inch five sixteenths back on, which is what I typically use on service. All right. Now I can't, this is a seven and a half microfarad with a 5% tolerance. Voltmeter out and set it to microfarads. Seven point two nine. Hey Siri, what's ninety five percent of seven point five? Ninety five percent times seven point five is seven point one two five. So we're within the tolerance. it has a 5% tolerance that means it can be as low as 95% of its rating or as high as 105 all right I'm gonna hook up our capacitor wires And then this blower motor is plug and play. So we'll have to remember where wires go. It just has a plug. I suppose I should get this where you can see it. So I'm trying to get this blade kind of centered in between. You know, you got a gap over here, gap over here. Get it centered, and then you want to make sure that your set screw is going into the flat side of the shaft. Your uh, service wrench also works on this set screw. Um, this one right here. It's that end, I believe. One of them will fit on there. Yeah, so you can put it through that way or yeah, you can do it with that. tracks here this angle iron on each reel and then you can see there those little slots for the motor the angle iron to go into that's where it's gonna go to get the bottom one on first. And then it just slides right in. All right.
and I have a zip tie. So I'm going to zip tie the loose wire back to this arm like it was on the old one. Probably would have been easier to do that while it was out, but I like to do things really hard way. Makes me feel like more of a man. So, let's get a light in here. Slack. I went ahead and put the zip tie together. I made a loop where all I had to do was pull it in there. Okay, there we go. All set. Now let's give it a shot. Hit the subscribe button. See you next time.